The accumulation of dirt and in some cases bird droppings on solar panels is an issue that plagues many regions around the globe. In areas where rainfall is frequent, like in the UK or in the Philippines, solar panels get cleansed regularly. In semi-arid and arid regions, the story is different. Here, dirt can deposit and reduce the output of the panels quite notably. Many large solar power plants are operational in these regions. For example, in the UAE, which is home to the world's largest solar power plants. If the panels are not clean, then their output can drop as much as 30% per month. Therefore, cleaning is essential for solar installations in these regions. There are many solutions for this, some even automated. They, however, use water in ample amounts. It is estimated that 10 billion gallons of water is being used every year for cleaning the panels. Attempts at waterless cleaning are labor-intensive and tend to cause irreversible scratching of the surfaces, which also reduces efficiency. To alleviate this problem, research was done at the MIT and fortunately, they have come up with a very clever solution to not only clean the solar panels but also the heliostats. Their cleaning method is waterless and requires no contact. This new solution uses electrostatic repulsion to cause dust particles to detach and virtually leap off the panel surface without the need for water or brushes. It is a two-step process. In the first step, an electrode is passed over the surface of the panels or mirror to be cleansed. This electrode charges the dust particles. In the next step, charge is applied to the panel surface itself that matches the charge of the particles. This creates a repulsive force and the dust particles bounce off the panel or the mirror surface. This breakthrough means a huge reduction in water footprint that is transported to these arid sites. One has to bear in mind that water used for cleaning has to be fresh water that does not leave any residue. It has been calculated that even a 1% reduction in power for a 150 megawatt solar installation could result in a $200,000 loss in annual revenue. The researchers say that globally, 3-4% reduction in power output from solar plants would amount to a loss of between 3.3% to 5.5 billion US dollars and therefore power plants are ready to invest in very complex automated solutions like the spray drones. But compared to the drones, this method of electrostatic repulsion is much simpler and can be performed with just an electrode mounted on the rail that goes over the panels. In addition to this, there is also research being done to clean the panels by vibrating them at low frequencies and by using ultrasonic cleaning. The difference between the two is vibration frequency. Low vibration uses a frequency of less than 20 kHz. Scientists are looking for a sweet spot because this method of cleaning is slightly invasive and can cause fatigue damage in the long run. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned from this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.